Welcome back. Welcome back again. I'm uh, giving you a very long video today. My apologies. I was going to split it into two, but I thought, well, let's try this one long video. So sit back and enjoy. I hope. Well, welcome back. I am back. The paint has dried, cured properly. Today, I'm going to be cutting those holes and fishing the wire down the front spar to this point, drilling and mounting the, um, uh, the lights on the wingtips. So um, that's the plan. So stick with me today. Welcome everyone. Glad you can make it. Uh, and uh, we'll hey. carry on. Uh, no more of the great excitement of watching paint dry and, and watching me paint, because I know uh, you can only you know, I, I'm surprised if, if YouTube might actually pull those videos because they're so exciting that it might disturb some people. We'll see. Uh, today, we're cutting a hole down there, running wires, mounting, and um, then I'm going to hook them up to the battery and I'm going to see if they work. So that's the plan. We will be right back. This is the scary part. I'm cutting a hole in my wing. Um, yeah, okay. I have to do it if I'm going to be putting lights on there. But I would be lying if I didn't admit that I'm nervous. Never done this before. So let's see what happens. I'm going to try first cutting it approximately three millimeters, four millimeters inside from the plastic ring and see how that works out. And if I have to trim it some more, I can trim it back some more. But we're going to start about, about three to four millimeters, uh, which is a uh, quarter inch. No, not quite a quarter inch, three eighths of an inch, something like that, um, inside of the plastic ring. Wish me luck. Well, that was easy. Um, Here's everything sticking together nicely. Looks kind of rough, um, but that's the ring and everything else is there for just to, so it doesn't travel on you and glues it all together. Gotta clean it up a little bit, just so it doesn't look white like it bogs breakfast. I'm making it worse. There. <laughs> no. I don't think I'm making it any better. Well, that worked. Okay. I will be right back with the fish tape and then we'll see what happens. And there she goes. out the other side. Let's go take a look. Pardon the shaky camera. A 
there we go. There's the wing spar. And there's the fish stick. So now all I gotta do is attach my wire to this, pull it back in, and it will make it all the way to the wing tip. So I'll be right back. coiled up, but that's also in the back side, so you got to straighten it out, which means stretching it a little bit. easy fish, so I'm not too concerned about it getting snagged or anything, but it still could get snagged, so we'll see how this works out. I'll go start pulling. That's about the right amount. I'll leave it there. I've got lots at the other end, which I'm going to have to cut. But this, the controller will be about this far away. So, perfect. Okay, I think I'm going to finish this with the lights on and then start the next one. Yeah, I think that's the right idea. We'll go that route. Got to get some tools.
Now, the instructions said that you can modify this curve to make them smaller or larger by merely heating up this plastic and then forming it over your tube that you're putting it on, which I had to do. They were a little small. Now, they're only small because this is covered in cloth, and I did not want to chop the cloth out where I'm mounting this because I didn't want to open up the inside of the wing to the possibility of water getting in. I wanted it to remain sealed. Uh, so I opened it up enough to fit over with the cloth. Now, in a couple of years' time, when I recover this aircraft, because it will most likely need it in several years' time, um, I'll be removing these from the wings and stripping the cloth off the wings. At that time, I can reattach these right onto the metal by heating them up again and shrinking them down a bit to fit. And then when I put the cloth on, I can put the cloth on with this in place and um, make it part of it so it's sealed around and be glued around all of this. Um, that's the plan. We'll see when that time comes. <laughs> you may have noticed that I make plans and then I evaluate them and then I evaluate them again and I change them at all and I evaluate and I change them at all and eventually come up with my decision. So nothing is ever carved in stone. What I need to do is I need to figure out where to mount this right now. Um, this of course curves and I want to put it as far forward without actually hitting that curve. Trying to eyeball it so that this is, is 90 degrees to the bottom of the wing. Trying to use the uh, Mark I eyeball measuring tool. Here it goes. The screw broke. Really? Wow. Not impressed. I mean, I know they don't make the screws, but damn. Okay. Plan B. Uh, plan B? <laughs> of course, plan B. What is plan B? Um, what is plan B? Um, plan B is a rivnut. Oh, okay. I'm going to uh, use a stainless steel screw and uh, use a rivnut instead. Let's go get that set up. One hour later. Okay, well I'm back. 
Um, I fastened this on, and uh, so now I'm going. To, I was going to go to a rib nut, then I realized if I put a rib nut in here, it's going to space it away, and this won't fit properly. It'll rock, and I don't want that. So, uh, using screws as recommended, which makes sense now. So, I'm going to drill the second hole. See what happens. Okay, hole number two. Now we're going to change bits. Actually, no, you know what? I'm going to drill the pilot hole first for this. Now I've got to make it bigger because that's where the wire goes through. The middle one, of course. Give me a second. And this is a one quarter inch bit. Which is what the wire is going to need to pass through. side of this tube because I know there's a blowout and I know there's burrs there. Yeah, that sucks. It is what it is. Okay. Um, now I need to take the wire through here. And to do that, I need to uh, fish it in. It's not that hard. Watch. This is nice stiff wire. All I need to do is push enough of it in here. Something in there. It's not going very smoothly. I don't know why. Should just drop in there. Oh, there we go. Oh, I know. There's cloth on the other side that's probably just hanging up there. Okay. So I'm just going to reach in that hole and grab that wire. Pardon me for a second. And then I'm going to tape it onto here and gently pull it out. I'm going to straighten this out a bit so it makes it through the hole. So the last episode was me painting and you guys having the exciting prospect of watching paint dry. On this one, you get to watch a man pull his wire. Go figure. Here we go. I'm pulling my wire. Hopefully it makes it through the hole. It might not. Nope. I would have actually been surprised if it did, because it's kind of bulky. So, I just need to uh, strip it back and tape it.
and I'll show you that in a second. The uh, quarter inch hole is big enough for this wire to pass through with a bit of room to spare, but not that much room to spare. So, what I need to do is um, remove the outer jacket and then stagger the inner conductors a bit. in order to um, make it tapered. Then, tape this together. Will that work? Better chance of working than the last time. Oops! <laughs> it started to come out. But then, yeah, let's do this again. Or I could edit this out and make it look like I did it perfectly the very first time. There is that. But I'm not. A few moments later. Yay. Now I need to attach my uh, strobe onto here and um, which is going to be soldered so I'm going to use, I'm going to get my soldering iron out and solder this and use heat shrink tubing to insulate it and uh, yeah that'll be the method Standard heat shrink tubing. No, no, no. no. Uh, like I said earlier, I believe this is heat shrink tubing that has glue in it. And um, I cut it long enough so that it goes right to the very strobe itself. The reason for that is because I can't deburr the uh, the tube on the inside of the tube and I can't deburr it on the back side of the tube. This heat shrink tubing is very thick and it has that heat activated glue inside of it. And I want it to the very end to give it uh, an extra layer of abrasion protection. So, yeah, that's what we're gonna go with. I'm gonna grab the heat gun and, uh, and uh, we'll go at it. I can turn this off and let it cool. Okay, this is a very thick heat shrink tubing and it has the heat activated glue inside of it. So it takes longer for it to shrink down. And once it does shrink down, you continue to heat it for a little bit longer. Now I can see at the very end here, the glue kind of squeezed out a bit at the end. And uh, that's what I wanted. I wanted to, uh, to get that glue squeezed out. Now it's still quite hot, but the reason for the glue is uh, if water does get inside here, 
the heat activated glue will kind of seal it all together. It'll make it impossible to take it apart and, uh, you know, strip it down later on. You know, that's the price you pay. And I'm also hoping it gets through that quarter inch hole because, yeah, you know, it's a little thick over here at, the, at this end. We shall see. So, just letting it cool and I'm keeping it straight while it's cooling. Uh, this thing it has a tendency to, uh, uh, if, you, if it's bent when it cools, it, it stays that way. So I'm holding it straight while it's cooling down and uh, that way it'll, it'll remain mostly straight uh, afterwards. So, nice and cool now. Now, will it go through the hole? Oh, I hope so. So, we'll see. There's quite a bit of room. Yes, it does. Very easily. Okay, so now what I need to do is remove the one screw, put it back in with this on there, and then put the second screw in. One light on. So I'm going to see about putting this on and then we'll see how that works. That fits on there pretty good. Really snug. Nice and tight. I, I, I like that. I think that worked good. On to the next one. Okay, one thing I noticed. I left about three to four millimeters of material inside the ring. And it made it almost impossible to put that cover on. So I'm going to drop that down to about two millimeters at the most. Um, so, yeah. This owner filled the ends of the tubes with expanding foam insulation that I dug out. I may not have dug all of it out. Okay.
Okay, for a quick recap now, um, I've got the wires in the wings, lights are on, um, and uh, this side is finished. Oop, all right. This side is finished, as you can see, covers on, lights on, covers are on. And uh, yeah, I'm gonna button the other wing up and uh, then I'm gonna hook up the controller and hook it up to a battery. And when I do that, I'll be back to you. So that'll be in about 10 minutes time. Uh, this video is probably getting huge long length, I, like way too long. So I'm going to um, uh, pause it here and uh, you'll be right back in a millisecond, but it'll be like 10 minutes later for me. So uh, I'll catch you in a couple minutes when I get a few things buttoned up and then uh, we're testing, make sure everything works. Be right back. Okay, I'm back. Um, I've hooked up the lights, they both work. Uh, let's take a look at them. I'll just bring you down a little so you can see them a little better. Might be a little bright, but uh, you see the green is on and the red is on and the white lights at the rear are on. Yes, the red and the green. Now I'm going to go and hook up the strobes and see what they look like when they flash. So let's take a look. I'll be back in a second. Okay, I'm back. Uh, because of the uh, movie magic, um, you didn't get to see me hook up the battery to the strobes, but I'm sure you can see from my face flashing that they're on. So let's take a step back and see what they look like. And there we go. Uh, I set them up for a triple strobe or triple flash. They have multiple settings to them. You get a little magnet with the unit and you hold the magnet to the controller for like one second and it changes the flash pattern and you just keep on doing that until you select the flash pattern you want and um, i wanted the triple flash so mission accomplished uh i've gotten done what i need to get done and uh just in case some of you are epileptic and can't stand the strobing i'll walk away from it for a bit here and uh i'll show you the controller I've got it hooked up to the battery. Uh, the controller is right here. It's this box that the strobes, it's an LED controller. Each wing plugs into here. And of course, then you hook it up to a set of switches. Now, if you've got a tail strobe or a beacon, they sell a little Y adapter that you would then just keep on adding on and adding on to this controller. And uh, in the instructions, it tells you to hold the magnet about here uh, for, uh, for a second and let it go. So you're watching your strobes, you're watching them flash, and then you keep on doing that till you get the flash you want. I wanted the triple flash. This is a 12 volt DC model and um, it's pretty well foolproof as you can tell um, works great very happy with them and it's uh, by Kunzelman and I uh, purchased them at Aircraft Spruce so they were very reasonably priced the uh, two lights the, the for the wings and the controller uh, I'll have to check on it but I think it was like five hundred and fifty dollar range uh, Canadian dollars uh, maybe a little bit more, but not over 600. It was less than 600 and it was more than five. So, you know, I can't remember exactly what I paid for it. I could check and, uh, you know, I could put it down in the credits. Um, I'll, actually, I'll, I'll, I'll put a link in the credits to the lights if you're interested in them for yours. So that's it. That is today's uh, installment. And uh, I'm going to uh, power the system down, both strobes, and clean everything up, sweep the floor, uh, organize my tools, get things wiped down, and um, it's uh, time for, yeah, it's 18.20. So um, my stomach clock kind of went off. Of course, you know, I could use with a few less meals. You may have noticed I'm just a little bit overweight, <laughs> and I, I am losing weight. 
Uh, I'm motivated, and that'll be a whole different video uh, about my journey on weight loss because every pound I take off is one more pound I can put on this little airplane here. And uh, there's motivation. So, uh, yeah, um, bear with me on that. And uh, uh, try not to be too mean on the comments, you know. Yeah, I know. You got a belly. I, I, <laughs> hey, I know that knows it. So, uh, yeah, let's button it all up, and um, we will see you again. Oh, I, I see all the other YouTubers say, you know, uh, subscribe and hit the ring-a-dingy bell and uh, make a comment. So, okay, I just said it. All right. Uh, hopefully, uh, this was educational and informative and entertaining, and if not, sorry. Uh, but uh, we'll catch you again. Oh my, if you've watched to this point, you are a trooper. Thank you very much for your dedication in watching this. I tried to break it up into a couple of videos, but I'll try it first as a long one. Let me know in the comments what you think. Thanks a lot. I appreciate it. Bye-bye.